Well guys, I had to start off this video with the whale poster. It's still behind my stream setup. Uh, it's pretty damn big. I think the dimensions of it is uh, 1.9 meters by 1,488 millimeters, something like that. But really happy when this one came out. As you can see there, like at the corner there, it looks like the whole thing's just creased and bubbly. That's actually the water, so it looks quite nice. You can see the one going through the middle, but yeah. Anyways, welcome to this video. This is my first setup video ever. I've never done one in four years. Like, it's kind of crazy, so, you know what, I just like, I want to get myself video. My setup right now is actually pretty nice. Uh, some boxes over there, I'll just show you them so people aren't there, like, nice one, tidy room, and all that stuff. But yeah, basically, this is my setup, so thank you all for coming to the video, and I will see you all later. Nah, you're only joking. Yeah, basically, um, what I've done recently, you'll look at myself, you're probably there like, that's a pretty damn nice self, or you're going to be looking at it like, what the hell is this, this is awful. Uh, but because obviously I spent so much time making videos and playing games, I thought, you know what, I am happy to invest the money in hoping, hopefully, sorry, getting the best setup I possibly can. So, before we go any further, what I'm going to say now is everything that I'm about to show you will be in the description of the video. I will probably just provide some links. I'm not going to provide any links, actually. I'll just say what it is, and you just Google search, and you can find a link in your own place if you want to buy any of this stuff. But I'll tell you the approximations of how much everything costs. So, anyways, let's just jump into this one. I'm just going to start off straight away with the DX Racer Chair. Um, I got a ginger one, obviously. Uh, okay, you must have seen my horrible ogre face, but yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I had to get a Ginger DX racer. Um, I bought this about... I've only had this for about three weeks right now. It's really nice. I'm not going to lie. It's really nice. Uh, I'll be deadly honest. With DX racer, I feel... You don't really need them, depending on what chair you've currently got. My old chair was like was very comfortable itself. Um, but you don't really need a DX racer. I just sort of bought it because I wanted it. And I spend so much time gaming that... Fair enough. It's a, this is a worthwhile investment, I guess. But yeah. It's about uh, 250 euros for this. So let's just say that's about, what, 210 pounds or something. So, yeah, it's up to you guys, obviously. Once again, I'm not trying to promote anything. I'm just saying what it is, how much it is, and if you want to get one, go for it. Just, just go for it, man. Treat yourself, you know? All right, let's go from... I'm going to go left to right so I can finish at the computer, I guess. So let's just jump straight. I'm going to sit in the rim. I'm going to sit in the chair for this one, actually. Right, okay. Uh, we'll come to that in a second. This is my microphone. Uh, I used to have a Blue Yeti. I've still got it. It's just down beside me. I'm not going to bother showing it now, but yeah. It's actually in a... It's not looking very clean right now. I'm going to have to clean that one day. Um, but this is my microphone. It is the Audio Technica AT2020, uh, along with a WindGuard pop filter, which is actually, it looks really nice. It actually, it's quite professional. Like, I'll just show you the back of it. Like, it's just like a perfect, like, crescent that goes around it. But other than that, microphone's really good. Of course, right now, of course, my video is recorded on my phone microphone. So you can go to another video, I guess, and test the audio set differences and see if it's actually worth the money. But yeah, it's an XLR microphone, that's why I've got this thing, which I'll come to in a moment, but obviously you have to get the wires as well, and it's actually connected to a road arm, once again it'll all be in the description, but this is, I bought this a while ago as well, uh, for whenever I stream Counter-Strike, I wanted to have my microphone not on the desk, because you just keep continuously hearing me basically picking the mouse up to move it across the mouse pad, I play Counter-Strike on a very low sensitivity of course, so... Yeah, that's how long it goes by. I decided to invest in sound. It's about £70, the microphone's about 80 the wind guard is about 15 I think the cables are about 20 as well. Not too sure on that, but that's some uh, pricing. The whole audio setup, I think, is about £270, and in my opinion, like I said, it's, it's going to be an investment that will last me a couple of years at least, so if it takes my uh, videos just up that tiny little bit, I'm very happy to do that. I guess this comes down to the mix amp over here. Uh, I'm not going to pretend that I know how this thing works. Basically, when I got it, all of this was basically, these are just sat exactly as they are. I messed around with a few, which are mainly these two, which is the gain, to make sure the microphone would actually pick up my voice. And yeah, once, once, once again, the XLR plugs in there, the USB is back into the computer. Uh, but I bought this because once again, it just takes it just takes the audio to a slightly better crystal clear quality in a way. Um, I'm not 100% sure of the difference, but I think when, I'm, when I first used this audio setup, everyone was there like, you know what, it's incredible. But basically, this cost me about £270 for the whole audio thing. Uh, my Blue Yeti, of course, if I just had the Yeti alone was I think about £90, so it's difference of £270 to £90, but I did buy the road arm as well, so my audio setup before was about £150-ish, I think, £150, £160, something like that. So the upgrade cost me about 100 well, it cost me £270, well, it cost me £200 actually to upgrade everything, but I was very happy with how it goes, so yeah, that's nice. Anyways, I've got the monitor turned off right now, but we have a BenQ, I'm not sure of the exact name, the exact name will be in the description, it's like a 27-inch extra large... 144 hertz display port monitor, blah, blah, like, you can only really see nothing here, but, yeah, quite a large monitor, uh, obviously my RuneScape screen normally just sits at the top, I bought it because I wanted a 144 hertz monitor again for Counter-Strike, I'm a RuneScape player, man, and all my setup has been upgraded for Counter-Strike, but, oh, I guess no one really cares, but, there's a the monitor, once again, honestly, really nice monitor, basically flawless as far as I'm aware, I can't remember how much it cost me, I think, as a random guess, it's about £350, 
Uh, but the way I normally see things is because I spend so much time gaming, if I invest into this, it's going to last me at least a year. Hopefully, well, I think this will last me more, but when I say at least a year, I'm talking three, four years possibly, and then we'll time to upgrade again, but we'll see. Keyboard again. This is a Ducky Shine 4. Uh, we've got some quick keycaps on there. Um, my keyboard's in, yeah, it's not the cleanest right now. I do need to actually get onto cleanest. I should have cleaned it before the, uh, the video, but I don't really mind. Uh, this is basically what my setup is. I'm not going to make it super clean and be like, <laughs> yo, guys, this is my setup, but it's just not, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, the quick keycaps, they didn't come with the keyboard. I bought them myself. I can't remember what website it was, but yeah, I really like them. I've got the quick sign there. And obviously, when I actually do play Quake Live, my lightning gun's bound to E, my rocket launcher to Q, 1, 2, 3, etc., etc. Um, so that's how I sort of played um, Quick. Uh, other than that, the keyboard itself, it's a mechanical keyboard. It's got brown switches, so when I actually type on it, don't know if you can hear most of that, but keys himself, when I'm live streaming, doesn't pick up too much of the microphone, so it's not a distraction at all. But I think that really makes this, key, uh, this keyboard is obviously you can see the LEDs, but I'm pretty sure you're all looking at the Quake keycaps. Let's be real here. That's what really makes the keyboard, and yeah, I'm, they, I think they cost me like $15 to get hold of them. I had more, but I did put them all in because I... Couldn't get the gauntlet on Z, which is where I normally put the gauntlet. And I think it came with another couple of them, like a nail gun, but I never used that, so. Screw it up. No one really cares. Alright, this is the webcam. This is obviously a Logitech C920. I would just say this is not the best webcam you can get, obviously, but for the price, it's about... I think I got it when it's like brand new for like £90. I think it's dropped to like 45 now or something like that. But if you're looking to upgrade to a webcam, you get that. It's 1080p. It does everything you ever needed to. You don't go wrong with it, really, so very... Well, I'm happy with this one. Monitor number two, this is some Dell one, 23, 24 inch, I think. It's slight, let me just move back a bit. It's very, it's slightly smaller than my other one. Uh, you might be able to see the very minimal difference there, but uh, it's a 60 hertz monitor. I don't use it much at all, um, but it just exists. Once again, the screen's kind of messy. I've had this since Christmas 2013, I believe, actually. So it's almost a two-year-old monitor there. Uh, like I said, I played, that used to be my main monitor, and then I... Got this one as the upgrade for the 144Hz, and I use this one as the 60Hz monitor, which is basically just sits at the side and just does whatever the hell I ever want it to, but it's never really for gaming. Alright, uh, I'll do the headphones first because they're sort of in the way. These are quite new. I'm actually going to be making a review video on these headphones. Uh, I've never done a review video before, but I just thought, you know what, if I'm upgrading, I could do it. And then, because I was doing research on headphones myself, I just thought, you know what, if I've done research on it and I make a review video and you watch it, and give good feedback on the headphones themselves. So that'll probably come up in the next few days. I want to review it properly by playing lots of different games. I need to test the surround sound on them, and I need to test like the bass and all the music and stuff. So not going to rush into that one. I want to do a, re a review video with like really good feedback, and I'll be worth the price, something like that. But these are Sennheiser HD 598s. Uh, the exterior, some people probably wouldn't really like them. I remember, I'm not going to lie, when I was looking at these and I was recommended them, I was like... I don't really like the exterior, you know, the cream and then the brown. I don't think it's a good combination, but I've fallen in love with them straight away. Like, I don't mind any more about the exterior, but they're really nice headphones. Like I said, I'm going to properly be getting used to those, and then we will have a video out on those eventually, I guess. Um, but for now, they are very, very nice headphones. There's HD 598 just in there. You can see that, but yeah, that's basically the headphones. This is the mouse. This is the Razer Death Adder. I've had this for almost two years now. Apparently when you get Death Adders, uh, they start double clicking after a while. But my Death Adder has been going fantastically well for two years. I bought this, I think it was August 2013. Uh, when I actually quit RuneScape and started playing Quake Live, I decided to upgrade, once again, my entire setup to improve at Quake Live. You know, I've actually upgraded nothing to improve at RuneScape, but I don't really think like... I'm one of those where, since I upgraded to my Death Adder, I'll be deadly honest, yes, I think my clicks got a lot more precise and probably got a lot more after upgrading from like a Logitech, like C10, I don't know what it was, it was like a 12-pound mouse or something, but this is my first gaming mouse I ever got, and I would say I definitely improved at RuneScape, is it worth investing £50 into a mouse to play RuneScape? No, but if you play Counter-Strike or Quake or League of Legends as well, maybe this, maybe this, like you got to think, if you play lots of games, you may as well go for it, but RuneScape alone, wouldn't recommend it, as for the Death Adder itself, Best mouse, completely flawless. A lot of people like the uh, the type in. Some people like the other mouse out there, but I'll be deadly honest, I just think that the Death Adder is just so perfect to hold and just works fantastically well for everything. So I would also recommend uh, the Death Adder. Uh, I may actually be doing another review video eventually. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet, because I don't really need to because of how perfect the Death Adder is. But I'm quite tempted to buy like a Zowie mouse because apparently they're the best on the market right now. So maybe get it going and then actually test the Death Adder, which I think is flawless against another mouse and see if there is actually any potential difference. But like I said, it cost me like £50, £60 to get this new mouse. I don't really think it's worth the money just to throw away my Death Adder afterwards. So yeah, it works perfectly fine for me. I'll wait till it breaks and then we'll get it. Steel Series QCK Heavy Mouse Mark. Once again, like I said, I play Counter-Strike on pretty low sensitivity. I think I play 400 DPI, 2.42 sensitivity. So a 360 spin in the game is probably talking... 
maybe the entire mouse mat like that. So when I'm playing, I'm just going to keep pulling my mouse like that and stuff. But I liked having this one. I did actually used to have the QCK Plus. It's basically a smaller one of these. Probably comes to about there and around. Uh, but then upgraded to the heavy. I had the desk space and I think... If you've got the space for a big mouse mat, you might as well go for it. Even if my wrist is just resting on it, it's quite nice to have. I think a mouse mat is one of the biggest things, though. Like, I used to play RuneScape for about maybe 11 years without a mouse mat. No, sorry, not 11 years. Maybe about 10 years without a mouse mat. And then I upgraded to one. And maybe that's why my clicks are better. Maybe it wasn't the mouse. But would also recommend it's about £25. Sorry, Defad is about 45 Headphones for 200 Webcam is 45 I think that's probably about 200 The monitor. Keyboard's about 150 I think. It's quite expensive. I've already said the price now. Sorry, I completely forgot about the prices. My apologies. Uh, but yep, yeah, if you do play FPS games, this Steel Series QCK, the heavy. It's really good. Oh, you can see it's pretty big. It's quite messy, but I've had this for, once again, over a year now. So I think the state of that, I've cleaned this about three times, actually. But I think the state of this for over a year is quite nice, I would like to say. So, yeah. Uh, that's the bulk of the setup. I guess there's the computer down there. You can see, oh, look at all that, mate. This is a bit of a mess under my desk. But yeah, that's my carpet just coming up. It's all over the place, but... Yeah, look at that. This is my computer. It's a custom built one. I built it myself. I was recommended the parts. It's very, very overkill. It's like a, I don't know, Intel i7 5820K or something. It's ridiculous um, CPU in there. And on top of that, I've got some really nice, I've got a, a, a GTX 980 graphics card. And all that. these are my old headphones as well. Uh, these were my Vmode Crossfade Excesses. They're about 180 pounds. They're very, very, very nice. I only upgraded to these because I wanted to get some next level surround sound so I could actually play horror games on live stream and have them a lot more scary in a way. So that's why I've upgraded. But like I said, tested between the two now. Um, but I guess I've got quite a lot of stuff I could be selling and making a bit of money off. So it's quite nice to get some back. Uh, you probably can't see it, but I've got my, uh, my Astro A40 mix amp down there. I don't use that anymore. So again, I've got my full Astros, which I don't use. So I'm going to get rid of those eventually. I'm not advertising on stream for someone to buy it. I wouldn't sell it to people online anyway because... A strong feeling I wouldn't ever see that money, but you would see your headphones because I'd fall for some sort of scam and Ryan Woolley wouldn't double them, but I'd deal with it. So yeah, anyways, that's the computer. Cost about, the whole thing itself was about 1400 I think, for the computer. But like I said, that is a five, ten years solid. It runs any game in max settings, really, and it's completely fine. It can live stream any game in max settings as well, which is really nice, but yeah. Anyways, that's the full setup. Let me just step back quickly. Um, get everything in the shot there. It looks quite nice. Uh, that's basically what I stream on, what I play RuneScape on, what I play everything on, I guess. Um, like I said, everything will be in the description, so if there's anything you're actually quite curious about here, uh, it'll be in the description. If you have any questions, I guess, about anything, like you looking at stuff or what I recommend, uh, don't ask me things like, what would I recommend to put on a computer? I don't know that stuff. If you're going to ask me anything for a recommendation, say, what do you think about the Razer Death Adder as a mouse, I'm tempted to upgrade. I sort of already covered that in the video, but I can reply to those. If I don't know what I'm talking about, I will actually reply. I don't know much about, like, technology and all that, but I will tell you, like, how it works and me using it, such as if you ask me is the keyboard worth it, I can say yes it is, why, blah blah blah, all that stuff, but yeah. Anyways, the one thing I'll deadly recommend in all of this, I guess, if you actually are a live streamer or a video maker, is that webcam. Uh, Logitech C920 webcam, completely flawless, best webcam going for the price, I guess. It's pretty damn nice, but yeah, other than that, everything else is optional, and it's up to all of you. Anyways, appreciate you all tuning in, hope you enjoyed this setup video. Like I said, this is the first setup video I've ever done, so hopefully, sorry about my camera by the way, I shouldn't have said this at the end, but I'm probably quite shaky the whole video. I'll watch this back and see if it's watchable. If it's, well, if it's, if it's watchable, you're gonna be seeing it right now, so it doesn't matter me saying this, but that's basically the setup. So yeah, anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. No idea where, I've not had a RuneScape video out on the channel in a while, but yeah, I'll get around to it. Anyways, see you all soon, thank you for tuning in.